Kiwi Ninja Hey guys, the QA Ninja here back with another episode. Breaking news, the Sega Genesis Mini has been hacked. Yes, it has been hacked. So I'm going to go over the updates for you and kind of give you an idea of what to expect when the release is officially out. And if you're into gaming and technology, considering subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping videos like this, stick around. This is going to be a good one. All right, so the great folks at HackG, um, KFD Manic, and the team uh, released this one recently that's also now compatible for the Sega Genesis Mini. So I'm going to actually show you how to go ahead and install it. So if you want to click on this link, which I'll have below as well. And then we're going to open up the interface itself and then look for the little controller here and then click that. Now we're going to go launch right into the HackG CE, the most recent edition. Now the first thing we're going to need to do that work here is go into modules. Click on modules and go to KMFD mods hub. Special thanks to KMFD Manic. He's awesome. He's been super helpful in this whole process and Dan the Man 827. Okay, so go to KMFD cores. Now you're going to need to look for uh, Genesis Plus GX, which is the core that the mod that we we're using for uh, the mini. All right, and there it is, Genesis Plus GX, and then click on Download Module. Then you want to just close out of this window altogether. All right, and then go back to Modules. Go to Install Extra Modules. Click on Genesis Plus GX. And then you're just going to want to hit OK. And then here, you want to hold the power button on the Genesis while it's connected to your PC and the reset button until the red light disappears. Let's add our game. So I'm going to add Mortal Kombat for the Genesis, Toasty. one of my all-time favorites. Thank you, Mr. Toasty Man. All right. And it's loaded now. So we're going to take a look at the command line here. This needs to be updated. So what we're going to do is highlight the game, right click. Select emulations. We're going to click on the game. Click on Genesis Plus GX. Click on apply. So that'll update the command line and then close it out. So we want to just double check that it's been updated. And it is. So let's just update the name so when we add our box art, it'll only show Sega. So click on Google after that. We're going to go with the first one I see here. Awesome. So we're going to upload it and then we're going to click on sync. And then we're going to have to hold the power and reset button again so it can sync to our drive. Now keep in mind, this is only going to load games from RetroArch. It's not going to load it from the UI itself. Uh, it has not been updated to be able to do that. So you're only going to be able to play games directly from RetroArch when you do this. And if you want to go back to the UI, you have to actually exit RetroArch in order to go back to the UI. So here's the uh, RetroArch Hackchi uh, UI right now. So we're going to go to Load Content and that'll show the list of games that you've added. For the sake, I've only added, you know, Mortal Kombat for now. Okay. So far looks good. Yeah, this game was a lot of memories with this one. <laughs> a lot of memories. All right, let's try something here. Ah, yes, the blood code. If you don't know the blood code, we cannot be friends. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so far it looks good. Uh, you running the uh, Genesis Plus GX. Everything seems like it's fine. Sega Genesis is very easy to emulate. Keep in mind also, there is no USB adapter um, external uh, support yet for Hackchi. So right now everything is all internal. So you're using up your internal space if you use, you go with this particular hack. Uh, let's go with Liu Kang for for this right now. I've been told I haven't, I don't do enough um, 
play, you know, gameplay, so I figured I'd do a little bit right now for you. But yeah, so far so good. I am going to be doing when I find out the update for the Project Lunar, because I know that that's going to be directly using the UI of the Genesis Mini, which I think will be, be a little bit better. But when that's released, then I'll uh, explore that and, you know, only waiting for it to be released and it's stable, of course. Uh, keep in mind, whenever you're doing any of these things to your consoles or if you're modding anything, you just do it with precaution. You don't want to brick it, rendering it useless. Um, but yeah, so far it looks great. You know, this is a good way to, you know, add a few games here and there. It does take up internal NAND space. So just bear that in mind. There is no USB uh, support for this just yet. But that'll do it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to help in any way I can. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, karate chop that like button and subscribe. Also watch all my other videos. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.